My name is Tim Durham, and I'm currently an associate professor of crop science at Ferrum College in the state of Virginia. In terms of the types of weeds that we see in the field, it could run anywhere from small little seedlings to fully grown fields that literally strangle your cash crop. You're probably looking at upwards of 90% yield loss, if not greater, because Weeds just have better competitive characteristics than, than crops do. Physically tilling up the weeds is disruptive to the soil, causes erosion. We're trying to avoid that at all costs. Or to manually pull weeds, which is very resource intensive. It's imperative to intervene as early on as possible, preferably with, with a pre-emergent herbicide. That will tackle the weed so that it doesn't have a, a head start of any sort. Paraquat is one of the essential herbicides that we use. Paraquat has a very broad mode of action and it works well against not only broad leaves, but grasses as well. So that makes it a useful tool. Paraquat, first and foremost, is a restricted use pesticide. So you must be a, a licensed applicator to apply this material. This is not something that you can get over the counter. You have to go through a whole training process to be certified to apply Paraquat as well. So the actual quantity applied per acre is very minuscule, but it's enough to satisfactorily and effectively do the job. The amount of residual Paraquat in the environment is essentially non-existent. I have no qualms about using Paraquat, provided the label guidance is followed. The major environmental benefit really stems from a no-till approach to farming. The soil is a very vulnerable resource, is very important to us. So the usage of Paraquat, essentially keeping that soil in place, is of critical concern to us.